<laughs> this display is testament that you're never too old for Lego. And I walked by a toy store and they had these huge pirate sets and I fell in love. Gail Maher has spent years building an ode to the city she loves. Some of Halifax's most iconic buildings are recreated brick by brick. Each one takes days, sometimes months, of meticulous work. I take a look around and see built things that inspire me and think, oh, I could build that in Lego. I go with my digital camera and take lots and lots and lots of pictures of things and go home and try and figure out what bricks I have that would work to build it. Mar orders some pieces in bulk, but most of the Lego is off the shelf. She just gets creative. You know, use whatever you've got, use your imagination. It doesn't matter if the pieces aren't just right. As far as hobbies go, it's not cheap either. She estimates it costs about $4,000 a year. And amid the actual buildings, there's also some familiar faces, such as meteorologist Peter Code and a mini Colleen Jones, who even dropped by to see for herself. <laughs> oh, wow, let me look. Yeah, that's me. That's me, for sure. That's the hair. Wow. I'm honored that you put, put us in your Halifax. This Halifax has lots of little surprises, and Nook's locals know well. I like to put lots of little details so that you have to keep looking at things. You do, and I bet you could look at this for hours. It's proving a delight for visitors, young and old. It was amazing. It's really cool. The skill impresses even the most diehard fans. These are things that she's done herself that you can't get to split, like instructions for. So that this all came from her creation. Yeah, she's a true master builder from the Lego movies. If you haven't gotten a chance to see this take on the city, it's on display until Sunday. Elizabeth McMillan, CBC News, Halifax.